hello everyone here we will solve this question and uh, it says free energy change under non standard condition using delta g 0 for the following reaction and uh, actually calculated previously minus 6 kilojoule basic per mole basically this value is uh, given for delta g 0 and the reaction is 2 moles of nitrogen dioxide gas is converting into dinitrogen tetraoxide gas and we have to calculate delta G when the pressure of NO2 is 0 0.5 atmosphere and the pressure of N2O4 is 1 atmosphere at 25 degrees Celsius. So to, so to calculate delta G for this reaction we have to use this formula delta G is equal to delta G 0 which is standard molar gives free energy plus capital R capital T natural log of Q where Q is reaction quotient and uh, delta G is given here which is 6 minus 6 kilojoule it's kilojoule so we have to convert into joule so basically we have to multiply by 1000 then it will be in joule and then plus r which is gas constant and its value we will use here 8.314 joule per kelvin mole and then we have to multiply with capital T and capital T is here uh, temperature which is in Kelvin and here temperature is given 25 degrees Celsius which we have to convert into Kelvin so how we will convert we have to simply add 273 to 25 which will be 8 9 to 298 Kelvin so we will use this value here 298 Kelvin and then the remaining is natural log of quit reaction quotient. So natural log of reaction quotient. How we will use this reaction quotient? If you remember that uh, how we write reaction quotient for any reaction. Basically we have to write molar concentration of product. P R O D U C product. And divided by molar concentration of reactants and if there is any value is given here exponent we have to use as a power so here product is N2O4 and reactant is NO2 which is square because there are two moles of so we have to sub square it and then when you will calculate this one it will be minus 6000 joule plus 8.314 joule per kelvin mole and 298 kelvin and natural log of so we have to add concentration of N2O4 which is 1 atmosphere here given and concentration of NO2 is 0 0.5 square. So everything will be same here. Let's uh, calculate this first. So 1 and 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5. Once again, natural log, this will be 0 0.25 and then natural log, when you will solve this one, it will become 4. So, let's multiply these values, minus 6000 joule plus, when you will multiply, 
8.314 multiplied by 298 so kelvin kelvin will be cancelled and the answer will come here 2477 joule per mole and uh, natural log of 4 so when you will calculate the natural log of 4 so simply you have to type ln ln is the natural log and 4 parenthesis this will come 1.386 so we have to remove this natural log multiply by this one when you will multiply these two values okay, it will come minus 6000 joule plus let's see if you will multiply by 1.386 multiply by 2477 it will come 3433 joule per mole and when you will subtract the answer will come minus 2566 joule per mole so usually we represent this delta g in kilojoule per mole so we have to divide 1000 and it will come 2.566 kilojoule per mole so this is the way we calculate delta g if uh, delta g standard molar gives free energy is given and basically they are asking how much free energy change will happen at these molar concentration at 25 degrees celsius so you have to remember this formula to solve this type of question okay we will see another video next time